All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Baharakakudash, who are worshiping spirit and the truth. Once again, giving double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, where and who I learned this truth from, and to all the faithful life and throughout the four winds, continue pushing. And this video is going to be dealing with religion. This video is going to be dealing with religion and um, the, the word religion. We're going to go into the origins of the word religion and what it means, what it really means. Okay, we're going to go into the, um, of course, the blue letter. We're going to go into the beginning of the origins of religion and what it really means. And so, and also too, when brothers are out there, you got people to come up to us and ask us, what religion are you? And we tell them we're not a religion. And we tell them we're not a religion. And we go into it. If they stick around, we go into it. And if they have no patience or lose patience with us, then we tell them to walk. Just get out of here, you know. Um, this is not for you. This thing ain't for you. So, we're going to go into the word religion. And the origins of the word religion and what it really means. So, this right here, what we're doing is we're bringing our history as well. The origins of, of the word religion. Because... When you when when you bring out history, that means it's something already that's past. We're just bringing it out. So this is like an edification, a builder for you younger brothers, and for other brothers that 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 push the same like doctrine and the same like truth, and teach the same like thing. Right? We're not a religion. We want to explain to you why we're not a religion, and and we build brothers up. You know, we bring out this history of what Esau, Edom, or the so-called white man or this fucking devil has has been doing since he's um become um, coming to power really started with him so anyway the word religion or what he's been changing meanings and definitions this is what this devil has done has changed meanings and definitions of of certain words so religion in Latin, religa, legar, to bind. Latin, religio, obligation, bond, reverence. Okay, religio, to reverence. To reverence means to worship, right? Reverence. But the word Latin, religar, means to bind. When you bind something, you, you hold back. You're not giving the people the full details of it. You're not giving people the full... Um, you're not giving people the truth. You're, you're giving them a lie instead of the truth. And that's why our people still remain in a congregation of the dead, which is Christianity, Islam, Catholicism, Buddhism, yoga, whatever the case may be. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And religion is, is a huge part of why our people remain in the congregation of the dead. Because they choose Esau Edom's religion or his philosophies instead of what? The law, statute, or commandments said a heavenly father. They choose this devil over the heavenly father in Yahweh Shai. So they choose what? Esau, Edom's ways. You know, the scriptures even say, envy not the oppressor, nor choose none of his ways. That's what our people do. They envy the oppressor. They want to be like Esau, Edom. They start following religion, such as what? Christianity. Even witchcraft can be a religion. Speaking to the dead, necromancing, necrophiliac. You can make that your own religion, your own belief. So anything can be a religion, but we're going to go into the real meaning of what religion means. This is, I'm speaking for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there that are still dumb. They, they do not choose the most high over this devil. You'd rather put Esau, Edom, or this fucking Edomite devil over the most high. And what you're doing is, 
you're bringing to yourself swift destruction. You're bringing to yourself um, destruction. Because if you're not with the truth, you're not with this program, the Most High is going to kill you. And that's just the bottom line. That's point blank, period. The Most High is going to kill you. If you don't come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father and knowing who you are as a Hebrew Israelite, your nationality, the Lord is going to fucking kill you. And that's a fact. So the man that wandereth, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16 again. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So Christianity, death. Islam, death. Buddhism, death. The Protestant church, death. Catholicism, death. The Mormon church, death. Your, 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 the music industry, that's a, a form of, 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 of worship or of religion. Because none of these niggas are going to give you the truth. None of these niggas are going to give you the truth. And if they spoke some type of truth, it's not going to be the full, complete truth. See, here we eat the whole roll. We eat the whole Bible. We're going to give you everything. We're going to give you what the... We're going to give you the meat of it. We're going to give you the understanding of it. We're not going to give you what feels good to us to bring out. We're going to give you what the Heavenly Father gave to us to speak. And that's the big difference. Anyway. So once again. Right. Religion, faith, belief, divinity, worship, creed, teaching, doctrine. Religar, to bind. Religar, to bind. Religio, to bind. Right? And really what these people do, they bind foolishness into their minds. They're, they're stuck with this Cesare Borgia image, a so-called white man in their image as being our Lord and Savior. They're stuck with, with Esau Edom being their, their, their go-to instead of the Heavenly Father. They believe that this devil can save them. They're stuck on worshiping a black woman. That's religion. Okay, they're bound, they're mentally bound in their minds. They they have no understanding. Like the scriptures say, our people have no understanding. They have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Anyway. Let's go into the Wikipedia. Religion. Religion is a social cultural system of designated behaviors and practices. Hey, everybody got different beliefs, different practices, different behaviors, different characteristics, morals, beliefs, worldviews, texts, sanctified places, prophecies, ethics, or organizations. So everybody has something to say. Everybody has a different belief. That relates humanity to supernatural, transcendental, and spiritual elements. However, there is no scholarly consensus over what precisely constitutes a religion. Now, different religions may or may not contain various elements ranging from the divine, sacred things, faith, a supernatural being or supernatural beings or some sort of ultimacy and transcendence that will provide norms and power for the rest of life. Religious practices may include rituals, sermons, commemoration or veneration of deities and of saints, sacrifices, festivals, feasts, trances, initiations, funerary services, matrimonial services, meditation, prayer, right, right. Let's go into concept and entomology. Let's start over here. Matter of fact, let's start over here. We're going to read on down. When religio came into English around the 1200s as religion, it took the meaning of life bound by monastic vows. 
Let's look at that word monastic. Relating to monks, nuns, or others living under religious vows or the buildings in which they live. Cloistered, conventional, claustrous, canical. Kept away from the outside world. Shelter, that's what cloistered means. Oh, now I know what cloister mean. Cloister. Confine, isolate, shut away, sequester, seclude, closet to close, enclosed place. Meaning to close, to be locked away, right? To claustrum, lock, enclosed place, to be locked away. So that's what cloisters means, or cloistic, or monastic. Especially of being austere, solitary, celibate. So everybody has a, a religion. Anyway, once again. When religio came into English around the 1200s as religion, it took the meaning of life bound by monastic vows or monastic orders. The compart compartmentalized concept of religion where religious things were separated from worldly things was not used before the 1500s. The concept of religion was first used in the 1500s to distinguish the domain of the church and the domain of civil authorities. Now, once again, that's the age of what? Exploration. So that's giving you what? It's telling you what? When these Queen Isabella, Ferdinand, the Catholic Church, they had what? A religion. They practiced religion. And these, are ironically, these are the same people that put us in captivity, that they, they, they came over here to the island of Española um, during the time of Christopher Columbus and what? Conquered us by using Christianity as a religion to conquer who? The Northern Kingdom. And they did that. They successfully accomplished that. Then you had the Negroes come in and starting in the 1619s, 1619 off, off the west coast of Africa on cargo slave ships over here to the Americas, over here to South America. They were fed with religion. Down South, the slaves were fed with Christianity. That's why you got down South, now what they call a Bible Belt, or down South, you have a lot of people call themselves Baptist, uh, Pentecostal, whatever type of churches they are, but like the Baptist church, or down South. That all stems back to slavery. It stems back to the word religion. So when these Edomites came back in the power during the time of the 1350s, 1400s, during the time of the, what, the Renaissance, the rebirth of Esau, Edom as, as this new revived empire, okay, really started with the Christopher Columbus, then, you know, of course, the NATO and the EU, it, that was way after, but now it's a complete empire or revived empire with all these different religions, beliefs, and just ways of living that are uh, that are contrary to the Bible. And we're going to grab those scriptures, but let's first establish this. So when, when religio came into English around the 1200s as religion, it took the meaning of life bound by monastic vows or something closed away or monastic orders. The, compart, compart, the compartmentalized concept of religion where religious things were separated from worldly things was not used before the 1500s the concept of religion was first used in the 1500s to distinguish the domain of the church and the domain of civil authorities like, like you got the catholic church that's a religion catholic means universal though you know that's what catholic means it means universal um, and, the, and we already know that the Bible is not for everybody. The, the, the scriptures, the law, statute, commandments, and this Bible is not for every nation of people. And let's grab a scripture to prove that the Bible is only for the Hebrew Israelites. Which are consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Psalms 147, starting at verse 19. He showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Yasharala. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise he, the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. 
So all these different nations were never given the law, statute, or commandments. Right? All these different nations have what you call religion. That's what they have. They have religion. Not the law, statute, and commandments. He showed this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, he gave what? The, the law, statute, and commandments to the children of Israel. He didn't give them religion. He just didn't give them any belief or uh, believe in this, any belief system or believe in that. No, he gave them law, statute, and commandments. Something that separates us and, and from the rest of the world. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So what separates us from all these different nations on earth? From the Hamites. From the Philistines. From, from, from Esau, Edom. From the Elamites. From the Ishmaelites. From the Assyrians, from the Syrians, from the Japhites. What separates us? The law, statue, and commandments. We are separate. Nobody is equal. See, the rest of the nations have religion, have religions. But we have who? What? We have the law, statue, and commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. When the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai divided to the nations their inheritance... When he separated the sons of Adam, yeah, we all come from Adam, but the Most High chose a specific group of people, a nation of people that he will be dealing with. Until his day, he's still dealing with those same people. And that's the Hebrew Israelites. He's not dealing with no other nation of people. Right? So in Adam is, well, I'm not going to get into that. So he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Verse 9, for the Lord's portion, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the Most High's inheritance is who? The Israelites. He inherited us. Just like we inherited his name, we used the Heavenly Father's name, his laws, the law, statute, commandments that he gave to the Israelites. We follow him, okay, as his peculiar treasure, as his inheritance. We don't follow Christianity, we don't follow Islam. Those are religions that have killed the, the Israelites, that have poisoned our people. So he that, 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 wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead islam has did nothing but 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 kill our people but tell our people to smoke sell drugs gang bang such as christianity look what christianity has done they have been selling israelites on auction and blocks for the longest they're the ones that sold us to the, to the to, um you know on auction and blocks they were trading uh negro men women and children So what is that telling you? That these uh, religions are no good. They're not healthy for you. It's only going to lead you away further from your power. You're not going to be in tune with your power if you keep on following religion. Once again, the word religion means to bind. These religions don't tell, teach you the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. So we're going to go into these scriptures, right? I ain't finished. Um, I want to get finish this article first. Then I could go more into the scriptures. Or this this on uh, religion on Wikipedia. So. Let's start over here. In the ancient Greece, the Greek term threskia was loosely translated into latin as religio in late antiquity so the word for religion would be what threskia okay so it was turned into religion in late antiquity around 1200s 1500s or circa the term was sparsely used in classical greece but became more frequently used in the writings of josephus in the first century ce it was used in mundane context and could mean multiple things from respectful fear to excessive or harmfully distracting practices of others to cultic practices. It was often contrasted with the Greek word 
Esedamonia, which meant too much fear. The modern concept of religion as an abstraction that entails distinct, check this out. <laughs> check this out. The modern concept, so what you have now as the word religion, the modern concept of religion as an abstraction that entails distinct sets of beliefs or doctrines is a recent invention in the English language. So when his devil Esau Edom came into power, what did he do? He used words like religion to mean something other than what the word really goes into. What's really reverence or worship. Right? We're going to get into that. And also, too, he used, um, he changed the images of the so-called Negroes into that which is against what? The Bible. That's why I said um, upon his head were many crowns, uh, many, um, excuse me, uh, upon his head were the names of blasphemy. America, the United, the European Union, NATO, America, the, the false prophet, which is the, the Roman Catholic Church, has established a blasphemous Government has established a blasphemous order on, 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 well, disorder on earth. And what? They'll feed our people with religion. They'll feed our people with democracy. Shit that has nothing to do with worship, with the Bible, with the law, statutes, and commandments. But they have successfully accomplished that and, and, and successfully destroyed our people with religion. That's why our people love going to Sunday church. Our people love going to these little corner churches. They see their favorite pastor. They could go over there, play some hoops, play some basketball, go have some fun, go go join, you know, go to a retreat somewhere in the mountains, go go to a bus ride somewhere to the museum, a you know, or they will just worship, a, have a sense, a false sense of hope, and that's what religion has done to our people. That's what religion has done to our people. So it's a modern term that was recently invented in the English language. Let me read from here on down. Such usage began with text from the 17th century due to events such as, of, as the splitting of Christendom during the Protestant Reformation and globalization in the age of exploration. So that's when the Northern Kingdom was taken into captivity. You look up the history with Cortez, Queen Isabella, King Ferdinand. This was during the time of the age of exploration. So around the same period of time from, from the 1400s till the 1600s, 19 on down till now you have what you have uh, um um you have what you call um you know our people were conquered by esau edom or the white man that's why these devils can go and change images around they own the printing presses they own um the music industry, they own your IDs, your passports, your social security cards, they own everything about you. You know, without without them, you, you're, you're gonna be homeless, all right? Like the scriptures say, you have to go to your enemies for the need of one of all things. And till this day, our people fall for this shit. They don't really know what it means to be an Israelite, or they don't know what, what it means to, to worship a true God. So they go worship a false god, a false deity, which has nothing to do with the Bible. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh have nothing, um, have nothing to do with religion. Religion has nothing to do with the Bible, right? The word religion simply means to worship, right? I know I'm ahead of myself, but we're gonna go into it, right? And it says here, now. During the Protestant Reformation and globalization in the age of exploration, which involved contact with numerous foreign cultures with non-European languages, some argue that regardless of its definition, it is not appropriate to apply the term religion to non-Western cultures. Do you see that? 
Others argue that using religion on non-Western cultures distorts what people do and believe. So back in the East, we didn't have no such thing as religion. Now the New Testament was written in what? The Greek. So of course Esau Edom is going to throw his words in there. Of course he's going to do that. But the word religion didn't have nothing to do with the East when the apostles were on earth back then thousands of years ago. Until this day, we have nothing to do with religion. The prophets and the apostles in, in modern days have nothing to do with religion. Do you see that? So I'm gonna read that again. Some argue that regardless of his definition, it is not appropriate to apply the term religion to non-Western cultures. So in the Western, um, in the Westernized world, or, or in the Western part of the world, which we are living in now, America, and like Brazil, South America, America, religion is applied to the Western world. This particular side of the earth. And that's why a lot of our people are westernized. They don't believe in the Bible. They don't know nothing about the Bible. So Esau Edom has fed our people with what? Religion. It was never applied back in the ancient world as religion. When the apostles were on earth. Before the Greeks and the Romans. Before the Latin our language existed. It was never applied. Religion was never applied. We had what you call law, statute, and commandments. We worship the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity like we are doing now. I'm speaking about the brothers in the right spirit. I'm not talking about false brethren. I'm not talking about false brethren, but real brothers. Right. It says here, others argue that using religion on non-Western non cultures distorts what people do and believe. The concept the concept of religion was formed in the 16th and 17th centuries, despite the fact that ancient sacred texts like the Bible, the Quran, and others did not have a word or even a concept of religion in the original languages, and neither did the people or the cultures in which the sacred texts were written. Come on, you can't get around that, man. Meaning there was no such thing as religion back then. Not even in the Quran. Not even in the Quran. Why? Because Ishmael, which read the Quran, they go back to the east. Which were, Ishmael was one of the sons of Abraham. Not even in the Quran. So if this was never written in the Bible, what makes you think it was, it, it, you know, it was not written in the Bible nor the Quran, but it was never in the Bible. We don't give a fuck about the Quran. We're just making an, a, a, a point. It was never written in the Bible uh, until a, a specific time when these devils started. You know, you had the Bible destroy his group. You had Edomites or the elites change certain words in the Bible like virgin. For example, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 18, uh, I believe it is a virgin so conceived or a virgin. That's a me, be, I, um, young woman. The Hebrew word for that would be Ayalama. Ayalama, which means a young woman of marriageable age. All right, it wouldn't be an actual virgin. The word for, for an actual virgin would be Bathwala, a woman that has never been fucked or touched before. But Mary was a young woman when she had or conceived Yahweh Shai through a physical lineage. Okay, Mary, uh, Joseph put his seed in Mary. So where did the, 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 the virgin birth come from? Religion, a belief that the virgin birth is, is true, but it's not. It came from these Edomites. That's why we keep telling you people, you got to look up history, go into history. So we're going into the history of the word religion. We're going into history of the word religion and we're breaking it down. Right? It's, so that's pretty much it on that. Matter of fact, let's read this. Hold on, hold on. Ancient Jews saw Jewish identity, first of all, nobody's Jew. No, nobody's a Jewish. We're not Jewish. Those devils call themselves Israelis and Jewish. Ish means to pertain, which will be a suffix behind that word Jew, which means to pertain. The word Jew goes back to the tribe of Judah. Which will be the so-called Negroes like uh, which will be the so-called Negroes. Right? Or the so-called Benjamin, um, or the so-called Jamaicans, or the so-called Haitians. 
right? But the word Jew goes back to the tribe of Judah. It says here, ancient Jews saw Jewish identity as being about an ethnic or national identity and did not entail a compulsory belief system of regulated rituals, right? Because national identity. The nation of Israel was given what? The law, statutes, and commandments. I just read that to you. Even in the first century CE, Josephus had used the Greek term Iodaismus, which some translate as Judaism today, even though he used it as an ethnic term, not one linked to modern abstract concepts of religion as a set of beliefs. I think he's going off on that. It was in the 19th century, well, he did, I believe, speak Greek too. It was in the 19th century, or Latin. It was in the 19th century that Jews began to see. Now they're going off on that too. Now, let's go into the scriptures. The first scripture I want to grab is James. Um, chapter 1 and verse 26. James chapter 1, verse 26. And I'm going to read verse 27 as well. If any man among you seem to be religious and brighter for not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, his, this man's religion is vain. Let's look up the word religion now. G2356. G2356. Treskia or Treskia. Worship. So it should mean worship. Worshiping. Like you see down here. Worshiping. Right? That's all it should mean. Worshiping. That which consists of ceremonies. Worshiping. The holy days. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Worshiping the Heavenly Father in your shy. Not, not having a religion. Not having different beliefs. And piling it up into one big system of beliefs that's just showing you that Esau Edom's kingdom or the America or these different worldly empires or worldly countries are out of order the Elamites believe in this God the 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 Catholics believe in Catholicism the Protestants believe in that this the 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 the, um, the Greeks till this day believe in this believe in that all right the word simply means worship, ceremonial observance, worshiping. Okay? Religious. G2357. Treskas. 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 Or treskas. Fearing or worshiping God to tremble, trembling, fearful. So I'm pretty sure Josephus knew what the word worship meant. Okay? Because these words were already around back then. Reli religio, religion, the Latin and the Greek. Right? Verse 2. So it's so a read. If any man among you seem to be worshiping or that worships and brighter for not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's uh, worship is vain. So it's worthless. This man's worship is worthless. That's what it should read. Okay, pure religion and undefiled before God, pure worship is to say, it's to read pure worship and undefiled before God and the father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world, unspotted meaning to not have blemishes or to be corrupted or to have spots like religion has spots. And how do you do that? You follow your, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You do the will of the Heavenly Father and you keep it pushing. You keep it moving. But you're not going to go out here and follow these religions because none of these religions have any say-so. They really have no impact or effect in society. They're nothing but what? Falsehood. Fairy tales. Um... Hold on. D 
This is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Religion is vain deceit. After the tradition of men. Religion is after the tradition of men. After the rudiments of the world and not and not after Mashiach Yahweh Shai. When did Yahweh Shai ever give us religion? Never. You're not going to find that in the Bible. So the word religion is to be replaced with what? Worship or worshiping or worshiper. You understand? So it shouldn't mean uh, like people use it loosely in society or oh, religion. Like people come up to us asking us what religion are we? We're not a religion. We were given law, statutes, commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 4 uh, in the book of Exodus. You name it. Yahweh Shai even said he did not come to destroy the laws nor the prophets. He didn't say, oh, I didn't, I did not come to destroy religion. Like he would, he, or else he would have said it. Okay? So the word religion is to be worship. So Yahweh Shai gave us law, statutes, and commandments, not religion. Esau, the white man, gives you religion. He gives you philosophy. He gives you Islam. <laughs> this Exodus chapter 34, verse... Twelve. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant or agreement with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest. So already that's showing you a separation. The most I don't want us to be amongst these other nations as far as serving their gods or their idols or worshiping or bowing down to these fucking fake gods or following religion. These other nations, these other people have religion, not the Israelites. Lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee, and it has become a snare. We are hidden prison houses in the holes, trapped up in literal literal prison houses in the prison system. And and what? And, and also too in these different religions and philosophies. So it became a snare unto the so-called Negroes, unto the so-called Latinos, unto the so-called native Seminole Indians. But he, but he shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. And that's what the prophets are doing now. We're casting down every stronghold spiritually, fucking religion up. We are dissecting religion from the inside out. We're fucking these people up. Because we're not a religion. We're a people that were given law, statutes, and commandments. For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. And that's the reason why the Most High gave the Israelites a bill of divorce. Because we were committing spiritual fornication. He was jealous for his name. Like, oh, I gave you all this. I clothed you. I, I fed you. I, I released you out of the hands of your enemies back then in Egypt. And this is how you repay me now? This is what you niggas are doing now? So the Most High got jealous. He said, man, fuck that. Right? The Most High got jealous. I, I, I made a covenant and agreement with you. And then here you go. Turn your back on me and make an agreement with Satan. Make an agreement with death. Make an agreement with Esau, Edom. After I gave you everything. Exodus 34 verse 15 Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land And they go a whoring after their gods And do sacrifice unto their gods And one call thee And thou eat of his sacrifice See there's many different beliefs out here in the world There's many different religions Anybody can believe anything But if you're not keeping the law, statute, and commandments At least to the best of your ability all right, as a Hebrew Israelite, then the Most High, what? He's going to kill you because you're following a religion. You're following another way of life that's alienated by, um, to the Heavenly Father, which alienated from the Heavenly Father, which uh, uh, alienates you from the truth. Following this devil's religion is going to get you killed.
So that's what our people went, do, went to go do. Commit spiritual fornication. And one called thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a-whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a-whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to grab that too. But hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, my bad. Let's look at that word worship over here in the Old Testament. To bow down, right? To bow down, to, to but before superior. No, to bow down, prostrate oneself. To bow down. Make the stoop or oh, reverence other gods. So that's what you're doing when you're following religion. Of course, you could go deep into the Hebrew words of what religion is, what worship is. What's being joined unto the Heavenly Father means. Go into those Hebrew words. But I just wanted to grab that. And just to show you that religion had, they had nothing to do with the East back in the ancient world. The westernized minds don't think clearly. The westernized minds believe in a false god. They believe in religion. So it's a beautiful thing. It's what's happening now in these days that the Most High has uh, woken us up and allowed us to, to bring out his word. Esau, Edom, or these devils, they don't want us to bring out this word. They don't want us to worship and reverence our power. You know, that's why they constantly have to oppress Jake, constantly have to take brothers' videos down, take brothers' pages down, give brothers strikes, wear brothers out. And that's what spiritual demons Satan and the elites are doing to the uh, to the men of the Lord, wearing us out. But that's only for 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 our betterment. It's only to strengthen us and to, to you know, because these devils ain't gone. They can't really do nothing uh, against us. If the most high be with us, who could be against us? Because we are more than conquerors. So none of these people out here really have no idea what's going to hit them when that time comes. So let these people out here have their fun. Let them follow their religion. Let them bow down to the black woman, to her, to their Horus queen. Let them bow down to Esau, eat him the fucking eat him, my devil. Let them bow down. And we're going to see. And we're going to see who's going to get the last laugh. Religion or us. We're going to see who's going to get the last laugh. We're going to see who's going to get the last laugh. And with that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahawah, Rakh, giving double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And for all your faithful, to all your faithful, Lakim, Shalom.